We're doing, we're doing basic algebra, so pay attention. Dekho, the first thing that we need to learn is the difference between expand and shh. <coughs> Factorize. Any idea what's, what, what do we do when we see expand and what do we do when we see factorize? Without expand or factorize? Yes, yes. In short, when you see the word expand, that basically means that you have to remove the brackets. Acha, ab, as far as removing the brackets is concerned, you can do this with the help of the identity. Take it. And uh, how many how many identities do we know so far? Three. A plus B, the whole thing square, is equals to A square plus. A square plus. 2AB plus. Uh -uh, plus B square. And then, what if you have A minus B, the whole thing square? A square minus 2AB plus. B square, TK, or when you have A plus B times A minus B, don't worry, we're going to do plenty of example questions. A square minus B square, TK. And then what about, what about factorize? Factorize, mein hum kya karte hai? we introduce the brackets. Introduce the brackets. Achha, again, we can do this with the help of middle term breaking. All right, so we can do this with the help of middle term breaking. We can do this with the help of, again, identity. No, 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 no. Factorize. We never factorize with the help of a quadratic formula. Okay? We solve with the help of a quadratic formula, but not factorize. Identity. Which si identity? A. 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 square minus B square oh, equals A plus B, A minus B. So when do we apply this identity? We only apply this identity when you have, what's, what's A square and B square? These are two perfect squares. Two perfect squares and a minus in between. So that we save time. Yes, yes, keep on writing this. Take Or you can factorize with the help of taking common. Just for example, here's example one. X minus three, X plus five. Isko kya karenge aap? Isko factorize karenge ki expand karenge? What do you think? Factorize. No. Isko hum expand karenge. Because we have to remove the bracket. So a question like this will ask you to do what? It will ask you to expand. Achha, how can we expand this? This x will get multiplied with this x. So this will give us x squared. And the same x will get multiplied with 5. So that will give us 5x. And then minus 3x minus 15. Achha, aksar, aap likhao, dekhenge, expand and simplify. So you simplify, what does it mean? Simplify. Simplify means that this can be further simplified. But what does that mean? Simplify means that this can be further simplified. Why? Because you have... Two similar terms that can be added or subtracted. Okay, what kind of terms are 5x and 3x. So x squared plus 2x minus 15. Okay, let's do another example. All right, what about this? Is me kya likha hoga aap? Aap ke khayal mein? Expand likha hoga, simplify likha hoga. Yeah, factorize. Nahi. Factorize kyu Factorize karne ka matlab hai ki brackets introduce karo. Lekin yaha pe to already bracket hai. So either the question will ask you to do what? The question will ask you to expand. So what, what identity can I use here? I see two terms with a plus and a whole square. A plus B square. A plus B, the whole thing square. Okay. What's the difference between A plus B square and A plus B whole square? If you say A plus B square, you know what this is what you're saying. That A plus B square. If you say A plus B the whole square, so this is what you're saying. Okay. So, what do you see in place of A? 3x. Three, three and what do you see in place of B? 2. So, if I put my identity, how do I put it? A square plus 2x minus 15. Do you understand what I said? This will give us 9x square plus, what's 2 into 3? 6x. What's 6 into 2? 12x. And what's 2 square? 
Any questions? Uh, so what about this? X plus 5 times X minus 5. What do we do? Factorize or expand? Karenge? Expand. Karenge. Again, can I use an identity here? No. A square minus B. Yes. Well, what do you see? X we have 5 bi. The only difference is that in one expression you have plus sign and the other you have a negative sign. So we're gonna use the No, here it's different. Here the terms were different. One of the three and one of the five. Here you have both terms the same. X bi, 5 bi. But the only difference is that one bracket is plus and one is minus. So can I use this identity a plus b, a minus b? Of course I can. Dekho, so no, a plus b, a minus b, we have to use So, we two terms. One bracket is plus, one bracket is minus. So, that means minus is there or minus is there? Yes, yes, obviously, you can reverse the order. No difference in multiplication. What is it? This? Well, here the terms are different. One side you have 3, one side you have 5. This is not the same as this. Why? Our number is different. Okay, now tell me what we are doing here. What's a plus b, a minus b equal to? A square. A square minus b square, agreed? So in place of a, we have x here, so x square. And in place of b, what do we have? 5. So what's the square of 5? 25. 25. So what do you understand what I'm doing? 